How might Earth seem in the cosmos if it were far away? As you look up at the stars in the night sky, you are looking back in time. Yes, you heard that correctly. You are always observing something in the past when you observe something in the cosmos. This is done to ensure that we can only perceive objects as they appeared at the time of their most recent emission of light, and the moment it entered our eyes and other senses. As a result, the time it takes for light from far-off objects to reach us could be millions of years. That is true both here on Earth and everywhere else in the universe. So, if that's the case, what about a distant spectator on a planet viewing us? What could he be able to see? Will he be able to view living things or extinct creatures? Let's talk about what Earth might seem like right now if it were seen from a very far distance in the universe. How do eyes work? How are we able to perceive everything around us? The fact that it is quite simple suggests that physics is undoubtedly at play. When light from a particular object enters our eyes from its emission or reflection, we are able to see an image of that thing. When there is no light to be seen, darkness which is the absence of light is what we see. Even though it is the fastest object in the world, light cannot cover the immense distances of our universe at the speed of light. In reality, even at the speed of light, nothing could possibly travel through our universe in less than 93 billion years due to its immense vastness. You can only view anything as it was at the precise moment the light that is currently approaching was emitted by the object you are watching. The image of Andromeda you are watching is 2.5 million years old because it took light 2.5 million years to reach us. Like the sun's image you saw this afternoon, which was 8 minutes old rather than actual time. It's a crucial realization. All observers in the universe will perceive right now, as the same instant in time relative to the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years after that creation event, unless they have spent a significant amount of time traveling at or near the speed of light, or in an exceptionally large gravitational field, such as just outside a black hole's event horizon. The speed of light is fast enough for nearby objects to typically ignore the lag time between source and observer. The farther out we stare, though, the further back in time we view and the closer we are to the Big Bang's instant. This would suggest that a distant observer is looking at an old picture of Earth, i.e., how the Earth looked in the past. To gain a better understanding of how Earth would appear from different points in space, let's journey there and look at it. Let's also assume that we have a powerful enough telescope to see Earth clearly from these remote locations. Number 5, from the furthest object, Galaxy GNZ11. The furthest galaxy ever seen in the observable universe is GNZ11, which was originally discovered in 2015. It has a noticeable redshift. At a distance of 32 billion light-years from Earth, the galaxy was just recently discovered 13.4 billion years ago, 400 million years after the Big Bang. Read on to learn how it is possible that it is so far away from us considering that the universe is only 13.8 billion years old. It is true that the cosmos is expanding, and it is doing so more quickly than the speed of light. If we turned our telescope towards Earth, or at least tried to gaze in its immediate vicinity, we might be able to see a young Milky Way galaxy emerging. The dark matter would pull together billions of stars, gases, and dust to form a brand new Milky Way. The Earth and the solar system would not even exist, as the solar system only just started to form 5 billion years ago. We would be able to observe a Milky Way image that is 13.4 billion years old right now the universe would still be relatively young and heated compared to today. Hydrogen and helium would predominate in this newly formed universe and its stars, which would eventually fuel the development of even heavier elements in their cores, and pave the way for our formation given that we are all aware that we are literally stardust. Number 4, from the Andromeda Galaxy, which is close by. The Andromeda Galaxy, often known as Messier 31, is the Milky Way's nearest neighbor. It is located 765 kiloparsecs away from Earth, or 765 million light-years. 
If we attempt to observe Earth from the Andromeda galaxy, we will be able to see the image of the Earth 2.5 million years old, or what our planet looked like 2.5 million years ago. Someone from Andromeda may see the Paleolithic period, when our ancestors first began utilizing Stone Age tools. Our ancestors, the first members of the genus Homo, but before Homo habili, would have kindled midnight fires in addition to flames brought on by heat, lightning, and volcanic eruptions. The only area these recognizable, night fires, would occur was on the African continent, where our ancestors coexisted with Australopithecus for roughly a million years. Number 3, from Large Magellanic Cloud, nearby intact galaxy. The Large Magellanic Clouds, or LMC, are the closest intact galaxy to us, despite the fact that Andromeda is definitely the galaxy closest to us. The LMC is a Milky Way satellite dwarf galaxy located approximately 163,000 light years, or 50 kiloparsecs from our galaxy. It has roughly 10 billion stars and is about 32,000 light years wide. If we were in this galaxy, the Milky Way would appear enormous and vast and take up a sizable amount of our night sky. An observer from this galaxy 163,000 years ago would see the Earth. At this point, Homo sapiens had already started to evolve. Additionally, Neanderthals, Denisovans, and perhaps the last of the Homo erectus our forebears joined them. Earth would be covered in numerous signs of life, including a vibrant flora and fauna. Prior to the development of human civilization, the last extensive ice age on Earth lasted for around 80,000 years. Number 2, from Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky. One of the innumerable stars that make up our cosmos is Sirius, which is the brightest star visible at night. It is an 8.6 light-year distance binary star system. If we looked at Earth from the Sirius star system, it would appear the same as it did in 2014. Number 1, from the farthest artificial object, the Voyager 1 probe. Voyager 1 is the farthest item made by humans, according to records. At this time, it is 158 astronomical units, or 14.7 billion miles or 23.5 billion kilometers, away from us. It took 45 years from the time of launch in 1977 to get to where it is now, which is outside the solar system's termination shock. There are only five spacecraft now eluding our solar system, and this one will always be the furthest away until we launch a new mission to catch up with it. However, because it is farther away from Earth than any planet, moon, asteroid, or Kuiper belt object in our solar system, it only has a perspective of Earth that is 21 hours and 46 minutes old and views us as we were at that time. The Earth is visible to observers on the Moon, Jupiter, which is at its closest point in 59 years, and Pluto, which is 5.1 billion kilometers or 3.2 billion miles from Earth. These observers see the Earth as it was 1.25 seconds ago, 33 minutes ago, and 4 hours and 44 minutes ago, respectively. It would be possible to see the Earth from all these different vantage points in our universe's several timelines. Especially on a cosmic scale, the period of time someone looks back in the past when they look at us from anywhere in or around our solar system is quite brief. Consider how little our solar system is in comparison to one light year, which Voyager 1 won't cross for tens of thousands of years. This is another way to look at the issue. An intelligent alien culture will not be able to see the Earth as it is right now if they attempt to observe us from a distance. They would only be able to glimpse an archaic image of Earth, and our technological developments once they were 200 light years distant from Earth. What do you think about viewing Earth from various vantage points throughout the universe? Would you want to make an observation or set off on an adventure like this? Let us know what you think.